Hey everybody, this is M Peoples. I want to talk about the irony of the Women's March. I mean, these would be the same people who would be all up for people. Oh, sorry. Uh, for uh, abortion rights, but you don't do anything for people of color. I mean, think about it. I mean, these would be the same people who didn't vote and didn't like Hillary, but you let Trump win. I mean, I'd rather have Hillary than Trump. I mean, Hillary was actually the only one who was suitable for the job. So what? She lied. Everybody lies. Your parents lie. And the irony of this is white women and white feminists voted for Trump. And like my father says, women hate other women. I mean, it's almost 11 o'clock at night. I'm just blowing out the smoke. And do you know why Hillary was voted? Women hate other women. Take Baggers Club, for instance. I mean, you put 10 females with different personalities in the same house, and what they do? Cause chaos. I mean, these would be the same women who talk about women's rights and equality, but gets upset when a guy hits them back, or they care more about a fetus than a child's life. They will protest for a child to be born, but won't adopt the child. These will be the same women who care more about an animal's life than a person's life. And that is some bullshit. But then again, who am I to judge? Which one of the reasons why I don't like a lot of feminists, and I don't hate all feminists, I don't like a lot of them. Like, there's some cool feminists, but there's some bullshit ones. I mean, I dislike Donald Trump and have nothing but contempt for him, but I didn't blindly go and vote for him. Because of taxes. I voted for Hillary because she's the only one suitable. Donald Trump. He is practically a child with a shotgun or a machine gun. People have doomed us with the most horrible person ever to be president. We America voted for the racist sexist pig. And they are now complaining about it. And this, guess what? The sexist pig is now a con man. And y'all just not find this out. Yeah, he only uh, bring down taxes for rich people. And white people find out that white people are the main ones who use welfare checks. Who are the main ones who use welfare? I'm not saying black people or people of color don't use them. It's that white people are the main ones who use them. And first of all, people, immigrants don't steal jobs. They take the jobs that nobody wants. So you want to sit out in the high sun while. So you want to sit out in the hot sun, sorry, brain fart, but you're complaining about jobs taking, they take jobs you don't want. You want to sit out in the hot sun or be in a nice cozy office. Hot sun office with air conditioning. And people don't understand taxes. You have to have a job to pay taxes. 
Uh, but illegal immigrants don't get welfare checks or anything because one, you need the right documentation in order to get welfare and all that stuff. People don't understand that. So if you know he's bad, then why did you vote for him? We live in a country filled with hypocrisy. But compared to uh, all other countries, this is practically a five-star hotel. My state, which I found out in my Martin Luther King Day at the museum, Cleveland, oh, Cleveland is resting in hate crimes. It has neo-Nazis, the Klan, all you can think of. But in half of the states, the other half, there was only like one part of the clan. So what, I should just move to somewhere that's less racist? Oh, and there's no clans in Alaska or Hawaii. There's no hate in Hawaii and Alaska. No hate groups at all. But where I live in Ohio, we're fucked. We're surrounded by hateful people. I mean, really, people? This is what I don't like a lot about feminists. You could have had a female president, but you chose not to vote, or you voted for Trump. You voted for the person who taught all shit about women, like grab her by the pussy, or or talking shit about women. And new such people, America was never great. It was great for a white guy, but not great for women or minorities. Think about when was America actually great? Think about it. It was never great for us. The only time it was great was when Barack Obama was president. And this is why a lot of black people love uh, Barack Obama. And there's no such thing as the real Donald Trump. You've seen the real Donald Trump. Anyway, this is the irony of the Women's March. I'm in Peoples. You can like, comment, subscribe, and share below. I'm still getting the hang of the editing. Anyway, tell me what you think. Share this video. And tell me what you think about the irony of Women's March. I mean, we're good to have a Women's Day. Good for us. But Women's March has hypocrisy. I'm M. People signing out.